Okay, so finally, physics. With UniTD, there is three settings for physics. By default, they'll be set to no physics. The other two are static and dynamic. Static is used for stationary objects, which remain in their fixed position. For example, these mountains I have set to static. While other objects, which you want to have the full force of gravity, like these snowballs, you have set to dynamic. After you have set the physics mode, you can start creating a collision type. Again, there's three options. There's convex, which creates a, which is the cheapest option for creating collision mesh. However, it is the least accurate. Then there's concave, which gives a more detailed collision mesh and better follows the design of your sprites. However, with concave, it won't allow for concave to concave collisions, so therefore, if you have one set to concave, you must have the other set to convex. So for example, this mountain is concave, and the snowball is convex. The third option is compound. Compound uses a combination of several collision meshes, and will allow for concave to concave collision. So that's it for all my tutorials. However, UniTD can also be used for other things like game cinematics or short movies and is completely compatible with Playmaker as well as offering support for Android and other such devices. So that's it for my tutorial.